Hey y'all, this is Joy from Macon's Outdoor Adventures. Normally, all of our things, for the most part, have to do with hiking. But today, I have no kids, the old man's working, and I have a project that I'm wanting to accomplish, and I figured I'd let you guys in on it, so. This is our garden for this year. Um, we do a lot of canning of salsa. Um, we try to grow as much as we can. Um, we do live in an urban neighborhood, so we're doing the best with our makeshift urban homestead. So um, basically my project right now is when we came back from our vacation a few weeks ago, our little three inch tall tomato plants are now not so little. Um, and obviously you can see I'm laying on the ground. We've got a little bit of rot on the base just from not having been trellised or propped up appropriately prior to us taking off. It rained the entire week we were gone. So um, we've tried chicken wire. Um, our plan was to get cattle panels this year, the metal cattle panels, and run them down the middle, but obviously it's a little too late for that this year. What I plan on installing today is called the Florida Weave and it's very similar to exactly how it sounds so I'm going to use all materials that we have here at the house not buying anything new um, I have this massive roll of jute and basically the concept behind the Florida Weave is you take two pieces you attach them to a pole on either side and you're basically sandwiching the tomato plants between the two strands of rope. So I'm gonna take this massive jute and pull it apart so that I've got single strands and one strand may very well be enough because I have to run, let's see, six of these metal posts um, into either section of our raised beds. And then I have to run the wire across it around each plant, uh, honestly, probably at two or three different levels. Normally you would start at the base and as they grow, it's very easy. Right now they're a little tall. So let's see how this works. All right, all the posts are in. Now it's time for the string. Layer one done. Well, I learned really quickly two things. One, should have done this a long time ago. And two, do not separate the twine. It uh, is kind of a pain in the butt and I've got a big roll. So I was trying to conserve on supplies, but it is okay without it. We'll give this a shot and we'll give it a couple of days and we'll see how these adapt. Thank you guys for watching, helping me on my project this childless afternoon. Um, if you guys enjoyed the uh, breakup and change of scenery, then let me know and we'll just keep this going and show you guys a little bit more of our homestead. Click on the bottom, we've left a button there for you to subscribe if you like our videos. Thank you so much. It's hot.